press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi, hello my dear students. As in the previous sessions, we discussed about clothes we wear, isn't it? Yes, right. As to my dear students, today I am going to give summary of this lesson. Okay? Yes, let's start. See, our world is very beautiful, isn't it? See, the, our world is very beautiful because it consists of many, many things. Yes. See, it consists more natural things and some more man-made things. See, natural things means things which are comes from or a gifted by nature is called natural things. Example for natural things, mountain, river, oceans, birds, animals, insects, human beings, see, and plants and trees, these are all natural things. See, these are all gifted by nature, okay? See, next is a man-made things. See, man-made things means which things are made by man is called man-made things. Example for man-made things, GV, mobile, board, then uh, chalk, house, well, what we wear in clothes also and then vehicles like a bagar, car, bus. See, these are all man-made things. See, man made these things for their use. Okay. See, in these things, we again, we classify living and non-living things depending upon their characteristics, means life processing activities. See, living things have a uh, special uh, life processing activities that it is uh, living things can grow, living things can move from place to place, living things can reproduce and living things need food to survive their life and living things can feel and react. See, these are all the life processing activities or goes only in the living things, but in non-living things, no, they cannot, they do not have life, okay? See, besides this, as you know, living things need air, water and food. See, living things need air, water and food. See, these th three things are very essential. It's a need for every living organism. See, besides this, human beings need clothes and shelter. Human beings need clothes and shelter. See, these two also basic needs for human beings. Okay, see air, see human beings need air for breathing purpose and they need food for energy and for growth to survive life. They need air, water and food. Okay, beside this they need water, clothes and shelter. As you know, we need shelter because it's protect us from sun, heat and rain, wind, storms and it's protect us from animals also. So that's why we need shelter. See, early man, ancient peoples or uh, live in caves, but nowadays we are, we are living in where? House, hut, and then buildings, apartments, villas, isn't it? See, about clothes. See, early men were what? Animal skin or a tree's big leaves to cover their body. Early men were what? Animals skin, yes, see the picture. See, early men live what? They wear what? Leaf of the trees and animals skin. See, early men started to these wearing clothes, these things to cover their body. See, the ancient peoples, they not wear anything. Okay. He started to wear because of a climate variation. So, climate change aktagdage or in madhra. Protect Madhukonadukke or in Madhru, first they started to cover their body with leaves and animal skin. See, you know, early men ate what? Animals, flesh of raw animals. So, uh, raw fishes, no, no, in Madhru, in Madhru, early men. See, after that, so after eating that animal's flesh, see that um, skin is a waste. So, skin is not use, but it's not a eating purpose. So, then, our skin is so, then, he started to cover their body with the skin of the animals. Our skin in cover because of a climate variation. So climate variation adaga odna or protect marko beka gita haga ge or in madro animals skins na leaf na in madro our body na protect marko na dikhe start madro. Okay. See, we need so now after certain period, uh, human uh, learn. To use natural fibers to make clothes. So about uh, fibers, we will uh, learn 
later okay first you have to know why do we need claws okay we need claws is very essential to us because see claws are protect us from sun heat see mainly claws are protect us from sun heat and it's a protect us from cold temperature see it keeps us warm in cold temperature isn't it and then um, we wear what rain coats and boots if these are all the things are made up of um, waterproof materials see these are all keep us dry from when we go out to rain so now oragade hodaga athwa rain ma bartta idda male barbekadre now rain coat na boots na use martive because these are all a keeps dry in the rain okay see and also clothes are protect us from dust so it's protect us from dust also and also clothes are protect us from insect bite like a mosquito and a bees see bees means honey bee so jeen hula kachuru namage thumba pain agathilla it's protect us from a what bees and also mainly it's protect us from mosquito yes you know mosquito cause many diseases dangerous diseases like dengue and malaria to protect us from a dengue and malaria you should cover your body uh, with clothes as in the at night time you must wear full sleeved and full shirt so it's cover our body from insect bite isn't it see clothes are very important and also it gives an identity and personality also so clothes shows what it's given uh, identity and also personality of a uh, human beings okay see next is okay early man view about animal skin and the trees leaves okay but nowadays we wear different types of clothes we wear different types of clothes we are going to wear see different type of clothes we we, are, we choose the clothes depend on some factors see climates live we, we live in first is climates we live in depending upon uh, profession and depending of upon occasions also we wear different types of clothes and depending upon a culture and tradition also we wear different types of clothes isn't it okay first we are going to know about uh, we wear different types of clothes according what climate isn't it so according climate we wear different types of clothes as first one see in some months you just see the picture as in some months, we wear cotton clothes what we wear we wear cotton clothes because cotton clothes keeps us cool in summer season and also you know in summer we we are very sweaty in summer season isn't it because it's a hot temperature in that time so that's why we wear cotton clothes as and also we wear very sweaty in summer season see this cotton clothes absorb sweat quickly so that's why we wear cotton clothes in summer okay see which type of which color cotton clothes you should wear we wear light color cotton clothes because see the light color cotton clothes leaves absorb heat from the sun so that's why light color cotton clothes less absorption of a heat from the sun so that's why it keeps us a cool in a summer season we need very cool so we want we have coolness in the time of summer because a very hot in temperature so that's why which type of clothes we should wear we wear light color cotton clothes because light color cotton clothes keeps us cool and also it's absorbs sweat easily and it's absorbs sweat immediately and then see the light color cotton clothes leaves absorption of the sun heat from the sun heat of the from the sun so that's why we wear light color cotton clothes in summer okay in the rainy seasons is yes, in the rainy season we wear what rain coats and i use umbrellas and high heeled boots so boots see these are all materials are made up of waterproof see these all keeps dry in the when we go out the rain so now rain atra hodaga athwa male hodaga enagutte ivella namana nenida hairage kaapadutte okay next in a winter see in a winter season we wear woolen clothes see these woolen clothes are made up of wool see these wools are comes from sheep isn't it see why we wear woolen clothes in winter season because woolen clothes are keep 
warm in cold temperatures you know in winter season there where is very cold in temperature so we should protect us from a cold temperature so that's why we wear what we wear we wear woolen clothes in cold temperature okay see which color woolen clothes you should wear in uh, winter season we should wear dark color woolen clothes because it's absorb on uh, more sun heat from the sun see so what they absorb they absorb more heat from the sun so that's why we wear dark color woolen clothes in winter season okay see as in summer we wear cotton clothes a light color cotton clothes in summer and we wear rain coats and uh, use umbrellas in rainy season and in winter season we wear what woolen clothes in winter season okay see clothes according to profession also is very different isn't it see in certain profession people wear certain uniforms isn't it see the uniforms gives an identity and profession of the people as yes. the uniform what they give see show it tells about profession of people see the first picture see the first picture man weird what so see the soldier wear soldier's dress so it's a, a color in a green and a dark, brownish color see they wear a green and brown color uh, uniform so it gives an identity of uh, they are a soldier see these type of clothes are uh, protects or uh, hide in the vegetation so or uh, fight mad in the war time it's uh, they protect them from vegetation okay see in next one picture see the lawyer lawyer wear a black coat see lawyer give we are what a black coat so we can easily identify he is a he is a lawyer see why because he wear what a black coat and next third picture you have seen doctor see doctor we are what white coat see white coat is, uh, tells cleanly lens so that's why and it gives hygiene to the doctor so that's why doctor we are white cloak coats as you all children you all wear what uniform as what you you are you wear what uniforms when you are going to school you are wear uniform yes nowadays you are missing your uniform you are not going to school okay see when you are going to school on that time what you wear you all wear uniform see your uniform gives an identity identity of yours you are a student as different school students are wear different types of uh, different uh, colors different uniforms isn't it okay see clothes according to profession is also very different okay next uh, clothes according to occasion see clothes are according to occasion also is very different as you all not wear same color type of dress in a whole day as you are changing your dresses as in the when you are going to play game when you are going to do exercise or when you are going to jogging or when you are going to play games what you wear you wear what uh, sports dress isn't it so what we wear we wear sports dress when you are going to play games isn't it and in the night time what we wear we wear night dresses it's comfortable in the time of night so that's why we are what a night dresses at a night time okay so when you are at home you wear what a casual dresses isn't it okay see uh, when uh, you are going to attend when you go out for a party we wear a party dresses isn't it and in the time of our festivals we wear special dresses in the celebration of time in the celebration festivals we wear what Uh, special dresses so most probably uh, in the time of uh, festivals we wear traditional dresses isn't it in the time of festivals we wear traditional dresses okay next see uh, we all wear different types of uh, clothes according climate according profession or according occasion okay for to make a clothes we need fiber fiber is um, see the clothes are made up of fiber as you know ancient peoples were what they were animal skin and tree leaves 
see these are all not clothes see these all the things or uh, they use this to protect or uh, cover their body okay from a uh, climate variation and for that protect their body but these are all not see the clothes are made up of fibers after certain period he learned to about a uh, natural fiber to make a clothes okay see the natural so there are two types of fibers are there first one natural fiber and man made fiber natural fibers means it's nothing but it in a comes from nature means uh, comes from plants and animals okay first we are going to know about a uh, plants fiber so now we go first plants fiber na nodana see we get a uh, plants fiber so we get many types of fibers from plants example jute fiber cotton fiber and then a uh, linen fibers isn't it see first we know about a uh, jute as yes, see the picture jute means see it comes from jute plants so jute fibers has come from jute plants see when we yarn this uh, jute we can use the jute for a uh, make a bag and rope and then mat okay we use jute to what to make jute bag and jute rope and mat also and next is about cotton see you have seen the cotton picture so cotton plants pictures na nortta idiri see we use this cotton to make yarn first we are to start produce what fibers see cotton in the fibers na thagonu next we spun it and we get yarn so by using this yarn we can make what cotton shirts you know cotton shirts is used in the time of summer season isn't it so we use cotton fiber to make cotton shirt sarees and dhotis and panche so tumba things galana now cotton inda maartivi alva next is about silk from now next silk we get Uh, natural fiber so natural fiber le one more thing that it is a uh, silk so silk na nawo silk worm inda so animal fiber ante we we get animal fiber andre so silk yarn so silk andre nimme reshme sire ella uttar alva so adu silk worm inda barutte silk worm andre reshme hola so we get silk yarn silk fiber from silk worm okay see akko um, matte innu andre namge animals inda we get wool from sheep isn't it we get wool from sheep we use this wool to make woolen clothes so woolen clothes galana martivi we use these things to make blankets and then shawls and hat isn't it and the sweater also we use this wool to make a sweater blankets shawls see these all wool clothes are protect us from cold temperature it keeps us warm in cold temperature okay see next and other animal skins like a cow and then camel sheep goat we use these uh, skins to make bag belt and shoe to make a leather bag leather belt leather shoe isn't it okay see besides this natural fiber we made uh, we can see man made fibers so, so natural fiber jothege now next man made fiber anadu innond type ide see man made fibers means it's a synthetic clothes man made fiber means it's a synthetic clothes see synthetic clothes are by product of petroleum see synthetic clothes are a by product of petroleum okay see we use this a synthetic fiber to make synthetic clothes example rayon polyester okay so we use a synthetic fibers to make what synthetic clothes like a rayon and a polyester okay see this synthetic clothes are very useful because it's a, these are all a wrinkle free and stretchable and they do not absorb more water and they dry quickly but when we say about a drawback of this synthetic clothes see synthetic clothes are very danger when we are going to um, while cooking so when we are going to while cooking don't wear synthetic clothes because it catches fire easily and this synthetic clothes are not comfortable like a natural fibers so so natural fiber tar idu ashtu comfortable agala see but natural fibers are very comfortable and it do not cause any skin irritation or any skin diseases enagutte namge natural synthetic fiber tar natural fiber tumane comfortable irutte so natural fibers are very comfortable and these natural fibers are biodegradable 
okay see we learned about fibers okay next we are going to learn about national dresses see in the world the peoples are all live in the world in a different places isn't it see depending upon the tradition and culture and the climate also clothes are different they wear different types of clothes in some so they are taking some clothes to for a national dresses okay see in indian peoples see indian national dresses for women they wear sari isn't it so very beautiful so we wear what a national sari it's a national dress okay for a japanese women see japanese women they wear what kimono so they wear what kimono see this is the national dress in japan so this is a national dress of japanese people women is a kimono and national dresses so national dresses for women of indian people so they wear what uh, sarees okay see in our karnataka uh, people sort of wear different types of uh, different clothes isn't it see in uh, india so in india they wear different types of clothes see in the first see the first picture kerala see in the kerala peoples they wear white color and gold color border sarees see the women wear what uh, white saree and gold border see we call, we call that it is a mundum neriyatham what we call see it's a mundum neriyatham and the uh, men wear what they wear white color uh, dhotis uh, white color lungis okay see in the next picture we see we are so the people wear assamese wear different dress see it's a colorful and next the jammu kashmir people see the jammu kashmir people they wear woolen type clothes we called that is a perans they are jammu kashmir people wear perans see these clothes are made up of woolen because in jammu kashmir there is very cold in temperature so that's why we are they wear woolen clothes we called that it is a perans it's a uh jammu kashmir uh, dresses and next you have see the picture punjab see punjab peoples wear colorful dress see they wear what um ghagra so they wear what um ghagra and they wear men's wear some of the concern small clothes is around the head so these are all the tra traditional dresses for different states okay in karnataka people see they wear normally sarees and uh, men's wear uh, dhoti is called a uh, lungi okay see in our karnataka in uh, many places they wear different types of clothes isn't it as in first picture see the picture see kodava uh, in kodaga uh, kodugu okay these see the people uh, kodava and the medicare medicare people so they wear what black coat and they cover their head with a mysore peta and the people of the uh, women's wear a sarees in a different style okay in north karnataka people see the north karnataka uh, women's they wear hand loomed saree we call that it's a ilkal sire so uh, north karnataka dore en use martare wear martare hand loomed andre neidiruvantaha ilkal sire galanna wear martare north karnataka peoples okay see nowadays we wear a different types of uh, clothes women's wear sarees as well as uh, chudis and many different types of clothes uh, gagras kurtas <coughs> and next uh, is a uh, in a uh, men's wear pants shirts and jeans for their convenience okay see okay we all learned about a clothes okay clothes okay now we are going to learn about good care of clothes see after use you should good care of clothes is very important okay see after using clothes we should wash the clothes using soaps and detergents you know so different types of uh, um detergent soaps are available in our markets use we use soaps and uh, detergents to wash the clothes see because this way removes dirt and uh, then uh, sweat and then um, many marks also so so that's why you should wash the clothes using detergents and soap okay after washing you should clothes dried in skin sun see it's very important at see these things it helps to kill the germs 
say after washing you just use you just press the uh, clothes so what you have to do you have to press the clothes or ironing see this one also this thing this way is also kills the germs after pressed so you just fold the clothes neatly and keep it in cupboards where we have to keep you should keep it in a cupboard or a bureau or in a wardrobe okay don't leave a clothes open exposed see again dust will be cover and make the clothes dirty so that's why after pressed after ironing you just fold the clothes and keep it in cupboard okay see you should keep mouth bowls or a napkin bowls inside so between the clothes see these all avoid the mosquitoes so avoid the moths so moths and the insects are moths or insects bites in the e nephthalene balls or a moth balls help madate so you should keep nephthalene balls or moth balls in between the clothes better you should take a lot of care about a silk and woolen clothes it need lot of care see these clothes okay see you should or uh, keep dry neem leaves also protect the clothes so you should take care of clothes lot okay because it pro it's very useful to us it's protect us from many things okay next see in this class i say this class we learned about uh, clothes you know clothes is a very important see clothes are man made things see we should keep the we should wear good and clean clothes it keeps us healthy isn't it okay thank you my dear students